Hey guys, thanks for joining me. On this video, we're going to be looking at some scuba tanks, aluminum alloy, and looking at the buoyancy factors that they have from different amounts of air in the tank. So I have a tank full, I have a tank at 1500, I have a tank at 1000 PSI and one at 500 PSI. And I do have a steel tank in the middle, a 117 cubic foot. And we're going to see the buoyancy factor of that tank. It's a hot day and I've got Ulin here to help me. Hi. Ulin is a rescue diver and a lionfish <laughs> hunter extraordinaire. Just don't get in between her and her lionfish. Your neutral buoyancy is really important to you as a diver, especially at the end of the dive. You don't want to float away and ascend faster than the safe rate of ascent and ideally making a safety stop at 15 feet for three minutes. If your tank is floating your way, then you've got a bit of a problem. And this video is not to be conclusive as to how much weight you need. Each person is different. Keep in mind, this video is not a scientific test and we're just using average weights and we're also in a swimming pool, not in the ocean. The weight of the salt water is different from the weight of fresh water. So early in this tank you have is an 80 cubic foot aluminum alloy tank. And this tank is, I weighed it, uh, I, sorry, I checked the PSI and this tank is full. All right, so Ellen, let's see what will happen to that tank. Is it going to float or is it going to sink when you let go of it? Catch it if it sinks. So here you see in fresh water, a full aluminum alloy scuba tank is negatively buoyant. Okay, this tank is the same aluminum alloy tank, same valve, and this one has 1,500 PSI. So Ellen's going to check this one as well. Let's see what happens with this one. So Ellen has this tank and she's going to let it go down to the bottom if it's gonna go or float. Let's see the buoyancy factor of a half filled or half empty tank. What happens there, Dylan? Ooh, look at that. So the aluminum alloy with 1500 PSI is floating, but the valve wants to point down. That's where the weight is. The valve wants to point down a bit. So this tank is half full, half empty, 1500 PSI, and it's slightly positive, positively buoyant. Let's try one pound and see what it does to this aluminum alloy tank with 1500 PSI. Here you go, Ellen. Try that one. So gonna try, turn it around, right? one pound and see what the tank does. So look at that, it's still floaty. The valve is the heavy part of it, of course, so it's gonna drop, but it's still, Kind of neutral, kind of just hanging out there. So I would say we need one and a half pounds to be neutral. You think? One and a half pounds. I don't have a half pound weight unless I get a fish and sinker. So I'm going to say that we would need two pounds to get a 1500 PSI tank. So when you're at half tank, you actually need to let some air out your BC, huh? Yeah, you just saw it. Sure. Yeah. So let's see, Ulin, what's going to happen. Let go a little bit, let it go carefully. All right, so that, is it dropping? So there we saw with the two pound weight, that's the two pound, the tank is actually negative. It's heading back down to the bottom. Okay, so I brought the other tank in and this is a 1000 PSI tank. It's got 1000 PSI of air. It's an aluminum 80. And let's see what happens if it just, if you just let go of it. In, what's gonna happen to the tank? So 1000 psi, it floats, it literally floats, it's not neutral, it's floating. All right, so Erlin strapped on a weight belt with three pounds of weight, one, two, and a one. So Erlin's got three pounds on a tank with 1000 psi. Let's see what happens. So the valve has gone down first. So at 1000 PSI, this aluminum 80 cubic foot tank is approximately neutral to negative with three pounds. All right, so this tank that I've got here, aluminum alloy, 80 cubic foot, this one has 500 PSI, 500 PSI. And Erlin's gonna demonstrate the fact that, of course, this tank at 500 PSI, 
is pretty much floating. And that's 500 PSI. That's what you should be at your safety stop 15 feet for three minutes with or almost back up on the boat, ideally. So you've got a positively buoyant tank at 500 PSI. So let's see what weights we need. Bear in mind, this uh, fun stuff that we're doing is in a swimming pool. The weight of the water compared to the weight of the salt water is much less. So if you're in the ocean, you're going to need more weights to get this positive, neutral, and negative eventually. Okay, so here we have Berlin with the tank with 500 PSI and Berlin has attached a two pound and the one pound and let's see what happens Berlin. So let it go and the tank with 500 PSI aluminum AT in a swimming pool is floating still with three pounds attached to it. So three pounds, 500 PSI, it's still floating. Okay, so let's add, what, how much you want to add now, Ellen? One and see what happens, or, or two pound? Two, so we're gonna add a two pound. So Ellen has adjusted the weight. She's gone with a two pound and a two pound. So we've got four pounds attached to the tank. The tank has 500 PSI, and we wanna see if the tank is gonna drop to the bottom. So if this buoyancy factor with four pounds, so you got an aluminum 80 alloy tank with a valve and 500 PSI. It was positively buoyant by a lot. Three pounds didn't take it down. So we're gonna try four pounds. Go ahead, Ellen. let's see what's gonna happen. Oh. Right, so four pounds puts it to sit on the bottom, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so there you have it. An empty or almost empty aluminum alloy tank with 500 PSI needs four pounds to offset that positive buoyancy of the tank. If you go lower than that towards zero, which you shouldn't, you should always leave a little bit of air in the tank, then you're approaching, as you approach 300 PSI, you're probably gonna need one more pound. So if that's two and two, four, so five pounds to compensate for that positive buoyancy of a maybe 300 PSI, I guess. All right, so Ellen, this is steel tank. And this is Junior, 117 cubic foot of air tank. And it has 1500 PSI and it is negatively buoyant. So, let it down, let it go, let's see what happens. Negatively buoyant, completely. So in conclusion, uh, with regard to our non-scientific testing here in the swimming pool, we see that the steel tanks are negatively buoyant at the start of your dive when they're full and they're negatively buoyant at the end of your dive when they're empty. So it means that you don't have to add extra weights to become or to stay uh, neutrally buoyant while you're on the way to the surface. Uh, the tanks, of course, are going to change your buoyancy if they are aluminum alloys, depending on whether they are full, half empty or inverted commas empty. The aluminum tanks are negative when they're full, negatively buoyant, and therefore they will sink or sink you. So you're going to need some a little bit of air in your BCD to compensate for whatever extra weights you carry based on the fact that the aluminum alloy tanks are going to be positive when they're empty. Ideally, you'll be on the way up and you'll be at either your safety stop or back on the boat with 500 PSI. So ideally, you're going to get your buoyancy such that you're neutrally buoyant at the end of your dive in the ocean, if that's where you're diving, in salt water. And the only way to do that for each and every one of us, since we're different, and the rate we breathe at is different, and the, the amount of air that we contain in our lungs, the lung volume is going to be different depending on a full breath or medium breath. You need to actually get out there and try it with your dive master instructors and figure out what you need. Log it in your logbooks and keep a record of it. So... Thanks very much to you, Erlin, for helping me out on this uh, video, taking this extremely hot sun today in the swimming pool.
hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, of course, drop Erlin or myself a line here below the video and we'll be happy to try and answer you. Take care, stay safe, and uh, remember, nice slow ascent with a safety stop. That helps to keep you safe and avoid decompression sickness. See you on the next video.